I'm surprised you're still here, Nikki. <laughs> Usually you're always running away in a rush. I said you didn't try to make laundry, Mr. Temple. No problems at all, dear. I can give you your help. So hard to find a decent house for a few days. <laughs> well, take your time, Nikki. Your family might have to wait a little longer for you today. I don't have a family. Never had one, as you know. Ah, and I'd be trying to marry that guy. I'd be passing by and having a good time. For some, it does, Mr. Semple. Keep the kettle on, make some tea. Expecting some guests, Mr. Semple? I'm no guest today, Margaret. I mean, Vicky. I have a lawyer. I'm busy made any moment now. Your lawyer? Yeah, a lawyer appointed to me. You need to have more guests in your life, Mr. Temple, if I might say so. You need a very sheltered life. You need to have more friends. Yeah, you might be right. There was a time when I used to have many friends. I see. Many friends? I'm sure you did. I'll put the kettle on right away, Mr. Temple. <coughs> The police have confirmed that the closest identifying serial killer who has been known to the public is the picture man. According to our sources and our best The picture man serial killer has been dodging the police for a few years now. Two bodies. Four bodies, but only three of them found. God! Ah, last. I turn to you, man. The picture man will be happy at the last. Who would have guessed it? Oh, look. Avocado is for sale in the supermarket. Hello? John Sample? Hey, Nikki! Nikki, someone's at the front door! Nikki! Mr. Sample? I'm Abhinash Sharma. But you can call me Nash. Uh, please, make yourself comfortable, Nash. Nice to meet you, you know, Mr. Sample? Yes, been here many years now. Huh? How about the furniture in this town? Mr. Sample, if you don't mind, let's get straight to business. Yes, of course. I received these documents a few days ago. I assume from you. Before we start off with the boring stuff, I was about to have some tea. Would you like some too? Ah, that will be wonderful, Mr. Sample. If it's not much of a hassle. No, oh, not at all. Nikki, could you please bring in the tea and an extra cup of Mr. Sharma? I just read in the newspaper about the picture man serial killer. Looks like the police know his identity. They're expected to arrest the man at any time now. <laughs> ah, yes. Ah, that will be a big relief for the public. People in the community have been living in fear. I wonder why the police took such a long time to find him, eh? There are rumors that he is not what everyone expected. But then, there are many criminals who have avoided the law for decades by having two different identities. In fact, they say some of them will never be caught because they live in society as two different people. Oh, do you think so? Why do you say that? It is my legal instinct that tells me this. There is hardly any proof for certain types of crimes, such as the crimes that do not have witnesses. Such criminals may always be at large. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, good point. I, I've read about those cases. Have you now? This is Nikki. She's been my trusted housekeeper for a long time. Keeps these things in order for an old man like me. Ah, now, this is not Sharma. I think he's also been keeping things in order. Please go to stop by state, by will. Not getting any younger. I'm going to take guesses on Namaste, my dear. Uh, yes, you better have the front door, Mr. Temple. And you should not say that. I'm sure you'll be around for a long time. Nikki, you didn't ask Mr. Sharma when he shivered a milk. That's not like you. That's okay, Mr. Sample. 
I will have the same as you. Mr. Temple, I will need to first fill in some details. I will start with your full name, please. John Peter Temple. And what's the exact address of this house? <laughs> At 46 Stapleton Avenue, Glencoe, New South Wales. And how long have you been living here in this house? Ah, <laughs> oh, years now. Gosh, time flies. Don't you need to write all this down? And where were you before that? I was in the state of Victoria, Melbourne. It's a sample. I hope you are aware that whatever you say to me today, I will check against your file. And no, I don't need to write this down. I know your file as if it were my own. <laughs> of course, Nash, of course. <laughs> Melbourne, did you say? Mm-hmm. Really? Are you sure it was Melbourne? What do you mean? You never lived in Melbourne. You moved here from a small suburb in Sydney called Brandon Place. <laughs> Brandon Place? I've never heard of that suburb before. I am sure you have, Mr. Patch. I'm sure you remember Brandon Place. <laughs> Excuse me, Pat! <laughs> Who is Mr. Pat? You. John. Your name is Jack Pat. Isn't it? In, 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 no, it is not. Are you out of your mind? Who the hell are you, mister? No, are you out of your mind? No, I'm not. You are Jack Pat, I, Brandon Place. I am not. My name is not Pat. I think you must be crazy. Are you really a lawyer? Like, who the hell are you, mister? I am a lawyer. I have been one for years. You need to leave this house right now! Oh. And I'm sure you remember Margaret Patch. No, I don't. Oh, strange. You were married to her. Are you feeling okay? Jack and Dad? I don't know, just feeling a bit dizzy, that's all. <laughs> Maybe the memories of Brendan Place are making you feel faint. What are you blabbering all about? Brendan Place? You must be out of your mind. Like, what do you know? Get out of the house now. Out of this house now. <laughs> that's strange, Jack. You are throwing me out of your house? And yet, there was a time when you could hardly wait for me to come to your house. <laughs> come to my house. My house. Yes. <laughs> you could hardly contain your excitement. In fact, you could hardly wait to get your hands on me. How come you don't like me anymore? Look closely at my face. And did Margaret know about you? About what you did? Or was she also complicit in your crime? Don't you dare. You don't recognize me, do you? Remember the cute little Indian family? That lives next door to you at Seven Brendan Place. Why are you still here? Why are you saying this? Those two little kids never recovered from you. That you jack patch. You know this crazy man. Why are you doing this? I mean, I hate this. It's so dumb. Hey, come please, come please. You know what I'm okay, John? Mr. Sharma is your lawyer. Did you put something in my tea? What's going on here? Is this a crazy joke? Oh, I didn't even... I'm in Australia. I'm sure what you remember now. An Indian boy and a girl. 
Leave next door to you. Little. Avinash. And Nikita. Yes, years ago. But those years cannot erase my memories of you. And today, and today we are all together again after many years, Jack. Look at us, Uncle Jack. Yes, that's little Avinash. And here I am, your little Nikita. But little Nikita died years ago. No, can't be. Shut up! No! I need to lie down. <coughs> you sick? It is us. <coughs> not long for you, not Jack Patch. It took us years, Jack. But you did not escape from us. You would never be able to get away with murder. <laughs> I, I don't need to get away with anything, Jack. I know what killing is about. <laughs> and I know exactly who that is. <laughs> Ki moth kya hoti hai. Oh, the picture in my murder. You can't be. Yes. Nikki has known this all along. <laughs> it is just a matter of time before it catches up on all of us, yeah? Subhas chand hi loko ki de diya. Phir. Sub, 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 sub,
I have my money. I have cash. Share my will. Lord, please. Please save my life. Money can't bring back the innocence that you took away, Mr. Jack Batch. I must say, Jack, I have killed before. <laughs> but this is the final moment for us. For us? Yes. Nikki is just here to witness this, Jack. <coughs> she has also been waiting as a help. And after today, And after today, we are we are living this life behind forever. You madman, fucker! It is done. What have you done, Nikki? We are finished. <laughs> Do 